Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for this Ariana Grande tutorial inspired by her new cover art for Positions. I love that it's 60s inspired, it's my favorite decade, so as soon as this came out a bunch of you guys tagged me and of course I wanted to recreate it. This video is sponsored by Perfect Diary, which is awesome because I've done so many 60s looks and this time I'm switching it up with a really unique brand, so these are a bunch of products I don't think a lot of you will have seen before and Perfect Diary packaging is just super cute, like they have um, holiday sets right now. If you're looking for a cute present for the holidays, we have this deer set inspired by Christmas Elk. There is a eyeshadow palette, Stardust Diamond Highlight Powder, and a light shimmer water stain in the shade Caramel Whiskey, and adorable deer hairpins for Christmas. And also they have a Black Friday sale promotion, so all the links to all the products I'll be using will be linked down below, so be sure to check it out. And if you're new to my channel, I post pop culture tutorials every week. And while I love to transform a little bit, the goal is just to inspire you to switch up your style with confidence. And if you try out any of these looks, be sure to tag me so I can feature you in my videos. And let's get started with this look. I already have on foundation and this wig is a little bit more blonde than Ari's and I'm going to start with the Perfect Diary Flawless Glaze Silky Touch Liquid Concealer in the shade C10. I've done so many Ari looks and whenever I deeply deeply tan, I don't like how it turns out. I feel like I just can't pull off that olivey tan so I'm keeping it closer to my own coloring for this look. I'm blending out with a dreamy golden pink brush and this is also from a limited edition gift set on screen and their brushes have super soft fiber hair. I really love this concealer, you'll see it again in my tutorials, it stays put, doesn't crease. I'm so excited about this next product, it's so cute. This is the Perfect Diary Weightless and Translucent Powder and it softly diffuses and creates a matte finish and that's what I'm going for today. I am obsessed with this lazy egg character, don't ask me why, I guess I just, I have an egg every morning so I collected some stuff with this character so as soon as I saw it on the site I was like, okay, I gotta get it. Next up we're using the Perfect Diary Sculpting Face Palette and this one has a bronzer and contour shade, a peachy blush and a highlight but I'm focusing on the bronzer. I'm gonna get that dimension to the face. This product is nice because if you put a tiny bit, it does appear a bit warmer on the skin, but if you layer more, it creates more of a deeper contour. Now I'm using these black brushes, and this is the Master Series Makeup Brush Set with 10 brushes, super soft, very easy to work with, and very affordable. So if you're looking for new brushes, especially on a budget, check these ones out. And time for the nose contour. And I'm starting to fade between my brows to my nose bridge, but I'm cheating this to be a little bit slimmer than it actually is. This is called the Stardust Diamond Highlight Powder and I'm using the Silvery White. It's a sparkle highlighter, so often I'll use like a cream to get that dewy look, but this is more of a sparkle. So I added just a tiny bit of this to the nose tip, cheekbone, and I wanted to show you guys this super cute product. It's great for shimmery eyeshadow or like a very holographic look, but um, I'm keeping it more subtle to match this 60s vibe. And then the main part of this look is the Perfect Diary in China Aerospace Explorer eyeshadow palette. With these shadows, the inspiration is China's Space Year 2020. I'm starting with this peach to plan out the exaggerated crease shape. On an angled brush that you typically use for brows or eyeliner, take a satin brown shade. This is called a horse head, and it looks more brown in the pan, but it's really a perfect color for this exaggerated crease similar to Ari. It has a bit of like a purpley taupe shift to it, especially when you build it up. And a really cool shade in this palette is called Veil. I haven't seen anything like it um, in the palettes I own, but it has glitter and like tiny moons and stars to match the space vibe. So I used some of the glitter for under my lash line because it has a gold shift similar to the inspiration photo I'm going off of. And as I was saying about the super cute collabs they do, they have the Explore eyeshadow palette series and there's 10 different palettes with animals on the cover and Perfect Diary teamed up with Discovery Channel for these. So safe to say I'm obsessed with this packaging. I was so excited opening this up and I haven't seen makeup like this. Like it's so fun and I keep grabbing for this tiger eye palette. I just love rich warm shades. And something I've noticed with Asian beauty brands in general is there's a lot more light, shimmery, holographic type of eyeshadows. So I'm excited to continue to experiment with them and let's get back to the Ari look. I use the Tiger Eye Palette for the matte cream slash white shade and all you want to do is fill in the lid and wing and go with a matte shade for this part. 
I love that I didn't get followed everywhere and it wasn't a patchy matte, but my favorite way to apply this matte shade was just using my finger and then doing a little touch up, making sure the wing is as bold as Ari's looks. And with this shape, I like to flick out that outer corner lash just with the same brown at the bottom there. And then I'm using the Perfect Diary Slim Long Lasting Liquid Liner in black. And I am really picky about eyeliners, but this is the type of tip that I really like. And for the wing, I'm just pressing against my lash line as close as possible. And I'm starting at the inner corner and then dragging this into a super subtle wing. And usually Ariana Grande rocks the super big liner, but for this look, it was more focused on the shape of the shadow. I also wanted to do three little Twiggy inspired lashes, but gathered them all at the side. So mine are not absolutely perfect, but I think they're super cute. It's a great detail that opens up the eye. And next we have mascara. This is the Perfect Diary Classic Black Wide Angle Lengthening Mascara and I'm wiggling this through the lashes and I did three coats here so you can see my top lashes have been built up. Here's a close up of the lashes. You can totally leave it like this but to match Ari's I did add falsies to get that 60s glam and we're almost done just applying a lip. And for lips, I'm using the Perfect Diary Ultra Irresistible Light Everlasting Lip Veil in the shade G11. Instead of a heavy lip liner, I applied this straight from the applicator. It's pointed, easy to use, love the smell. And for the shape, I went a bit rounder with my top lip on the Cupid's Bow. This is a long lasting lip color, so think liquid lip, but it's not gritty. It doesn't cake or dry up, so good for under a mask. Then I find purple lip shades for me always turn out reddish, so I generally use an eyeshadow to get the pigment I want. So I went back in with the Explorer palette and took the pastel purple, really lightly patted this over the lip to get that cool toned um, purple shade. I like to start with a lip line that's more natural to my coloring so that it all blends together well. And I hope you guys like some of these techniques. Hopefully the lighting was okay. I like to use natural light, but there were some clouds that passed and then the light completely went down. Daylight savings, so I used artificial light for these end clips. So let me know if you prefer um, the artificial light or at the beginning, the natural light. That would be super helpful. Got the look and a product that Perfect Diary Beauty is known for that I didn't feature, but I'm gonna now, is their Perfect Diary Rouge Intense Velvet Slim Lipstick. I love the sleek gold case inspired by stiletto heels. They're super velvety, it keeps your lips hydrated, and here are my three fave shades. This is such a comfortable and stunning red, and it's the shade L05. This next one I'm swatching is L07. And here is L04. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and testing out a whole bunch of new makeup. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking to keep on watching and you want maybe more 60s inspired looks, be sure to check out this iconic 60s ad. It was so fun to recreate. Or maybe you're looking for something a little more modern. And if that's the case, then you might like this Kendall Jenner inspired look. And I'll see you in my next video.